to my channel it's your girl elder and you already know if this is your first time tuning in i welcome you with love hugs and kisses Mwah! and in order for you to be my cousin i need you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button right right then i need you to hit the post notification right right and then i need you to light up the comment section with hashtag die cousin game and you'll officially be my cousin okay and those of you that's been rocking with me, what's up for me? What's up, cools? What's up, cousin? You already know how we get down, baby. We be live. Welcome back. Back. A. Hey, back. Back. A. Hey, back. Back. A. Hey. Good morning. Good morning. Ooh, good morning. Today is cooking. Chat with me. I'm about to make breakfast. No, no. Not for you? You don't want breakfast? Okay, that's fine. She don't want breakfast. Huh? I don't want to go to school. There's no school today. It's Saturday. Uh, yay! Uh -huh. I told her no school, no school, no school. You, y'all hear her? She, she don't want to go to school. Yeah, because mommy said the school is closed and I, my teacher's going to mess me. Oh, okay. All right, go in your room. Go have fun. Go play. That's fine. I'll, I'll call you in a second so you can say hi to the people. Okay? Later. Later. Back to what I was saying. Y'all. Let me tell y'all something. Baby. I got so much to tell y'all. Listen, if you have not yet checked out my merch, I need you to go in the description box, okay? And I need you to go ahead and check out my store. Okay, get your shirt, get one of my books. Right, right. And be great today. But anywho, y'all, I'm in such in a place, I can't even describe in words, okay? But it's been a good place, all right? But it's definitely been in a good place and it's definitely been a shift because I don't even think the same. Like my mind is like truly on another level. Okay. I don't have a topic for today yet. But, but, this year I'm going to say but. We would get it along the way. And y'all, let me tell you this, okay? Who you surround yourself with matters. Who you surround yourself with matters. Because one or two things gonna happen. Either you gonna become them or they gonna become you. All right? So when you look at your life, are you pleased with it? Are you happy with it? Do you feel like there's a strain? Like what is it? When's the last time that you truly sat down and analyzed, reflected, and you know, just looked at your decisions, your life, everything? When's the last time you did that? All right, because connections matter. Who you connected to matter. Who you hang with matter. Because whether you know it or not, you become intertwined with that person. And whatever you dealing with, that person will begin to pick up and vice versa. Okay, so mind you, lately I've been slowly shifting. Slowly shifting on who I have conversations with. Slowly shifting on who I hang with. You know, 
I'm just really been pushing myself to truly, truly, truly get focused, okay? Because, like y'all always hear me say, I'm truly tired of mediocrity, okay? I am tired of mediocrity. Ooh, y'all. Boop, boop. Like I'm truly tired of mediocrity, okay? So, who you hanging with? Do they challenge you? Do they provoke you? Do they provoke you to think differently? Do they provoke you to, you know, want to level up? What is, what it like, when you look at your connection with that individual, how is it benefiting you? Or if it's benefiting you at all? So with that being said, y'all, I'm like truly on a different level, okay? I bless God for my new connections. People want to be screaming out no new friends. Um, how you expect to level up? How you expect to expand? How you expect to grow if you keep hollering no new friends? It may, it may be that new friend that takes you to that place or drop some knowledge, some gems or whatever it is that you need to propel forward, right? So how are we screaming no new friends? How? How do we expect to grow when we keep hollering no new connections? What is your motives? What is your intentions? What is like, all of this have to play up in your mind, okay? Are you, are you willing to put in the work? Are you truly ready to put in the work? Because what I was explaining to my friend is you have to look at relationships like your relationship with the bank, okay? Now y'all know I used to work at the bank, okay? Let me tell you something. When you go to the bank, and you're looking to make a withdrawal, right? Let's say you want to withdraw a thousand dollars, but your available balance is only 500. Two things is gonna happen. The teller is gonna either tell you, if you go inside the bank to withdraw that money, is going to tell you that you do not have sufficient funds to complete the transaction. Why? Because you're trying to withdraw a thousand but you only put in 500, okay? And if you go to the ATM, the ATM is either going to, um, the ATM is either going to deny your transaction or is going to prompt you that you will be under by 500. Now let's say you go to the ATM and you withdraw that, you withdraw that thousand and allow yourself to go into the negative now let's say you never satisfy that that thousand dollars. Let me tell you what happens. After a certain time, the bank will close that account and you'll go into collections, okay? And if you try to open up another account, the bank is not gonna allow you to open up another account because of your past history or what happened with that, um, with that account. Because now they're judging, they're looking at what has taken place the last time and they're going to tell you that we cannot establish a relationship either, one, until that balance is taken care of or, and if they do let you open up the, another account, there's restrictions. And this is the same when it comes to our relationship with friends, family, people in general, okay? 
What you put in is what you get out. So once again, how have you been checking your connections? How have you been checking yourself? All right? Because we desire to be in another place in all aspects, right? But what are we doing about it? What are we doing about it? So I say all that to say this. Don't be afraid to check your connections. Don't be afraid to change your surroundings. Don't be afraid of change, period. Okay? Be around people that's going to challenge you and provoke you to grow. Okay? I'm sorry. I'm at a place. I do not have no more time to waste. Okay? I have no more time to waste. None at all. And I desire to leave a legacy for my child, my child, and my and, and my future, my future children. Okay, not working for anybody has truly been a blessing. It's been a challenge, but it's been a blessing. And in order for me to grow, I've been surrounding myself with like-minded people and people that's above me. I don't look at it as competition. I don't look at it as me being inferior. But it provokes me to level up. It provokes me to level up. All right, y'all, so my camera died. So my camera died. So, yeah. But, as I was saying before, is that, yeah, it's time to level up. You feel me? Can't be scared to check your connection. Can't be scared to pursue the things that you truly desire to pursue. And I just posted not too long ago on my Twitter, I was saying one of the best decisions that I made in my life is is the fact that I stop waiting for people, okay? Waiting for people to support me, waiting for people to invest in me, waiting for people to encourage me, waiting for people to, to give me that push, that boost, or whatever it is that I need. Like, you just have to stop waiting for people, okay? Because then you're only setting yourself up for failure, okay? Or to be disappointed or to be upset. So, I just been, this shift in my mind is just like, it's so liberating. It's scary at the same time um, because you don't know what's to come ahead. You can affirm, you know, you speak like you commanded, you call these things that be not as though they were, but there's part of you that's still like, oh my God. So that's where I'm at. I know y'all trying to figure out what I'm sitting on. My little coffee table finally came. Um, well, it was delivered to the wrong address. But I ain't gonna be petty. I will not be petty. But y'all, God is good. Y'all, the shirts are officially out. Be sure to check it out. Let me give it juice. Don't judge me. Judge a big toe. Don't judge me. Judge a big toe. All right. And all oh, my thing came, guys. Whoop whoop. Thank you so much, pretty, primped, and proper. Okay. Y'all, I'm gonna drop the description in my bio, but my girl, P3 Skin. Packaging is so cute. Y'all, y'all know I'm still embracing femininity, so yeah, I'm I'm learning to take better care of my skin. Okay. 
and of course I went to the best of the best oh this is so cute y'all see her y'all check her out okay I'm still gonna drop it in the description box but y'all check out my friend okay thank you you pretty too girl y'all check her out y'all see the handles y'all go check her out all my beauty gurus or beauty lovers and skin lovers and all of that oh i got a mask too and it's black you already know baby thank you boo you should have sent me one that got the, the, the p on it chat it's my order all right let me tell y'all what i got okay it's the primp the primp rose oil okay i do makeup but i don't do makeup so <laughs> i got your note friend thank you i'm not really into makeup and all of that i'm just learning so that you know i'm able to switch it up um so yeah so and it's so cute see the so y'all make sure y'all hit her up i had stole my best friend had ordered one from her and i stole it and then it was finished so i had to go get my own but all right so y'all let's put this table together I know y'all like this girl is always it's my oh this girl is always doing something yeah i'm always putting something together i don't know why i just like it so who wants to buy me a drill so i can stop asking my brother for his y'all want to cash at me everybody come together and have to get a drill and a toolbox set because y'all know i like doing stuff on my own uh you know i'm i'm well well proportioned guys so excuse me Y'all about to be a, a whole year in my place and I did be empty apartment. Whoa guys. This is going to be interesting. Okay, let's see. Okay, it's fairly easy. I just wish I had a drill. Oh, okay, I got the key in there. I don't even need a drill. I got the key in there. And I still ain't do a update yet of the house tour. That's because it's not where I would want it to be. But don't sleep because we all know. Wait. Y'all, I hate these little styrofoam things because... When I be trying to broom, excuse me, if my dude was here, well, if my dude was here, he'll kill me. It's not broom, it's sweet. When I be trying to sweep the floor, baby. All right. Are we gonna learn today? Okay. I enjoy doing this okay because somebody made a comment to me like oh why your dude don't be helping you just that in the third if I need help he will help me okay there's things that I have purchased that I did not personally want to deal with and he put together for me okay so with that being said I enjoy doing this okay thank you
right, so we are done. All right, honey, y'all see this? Okay, I'm about to flip this over, so. My back hurt, y'all. All right. This is how it's looking. Okay, KK. I am. Ooh, y'all been sitting on that floor too long. <sighs> oh, guess what? I can put my feet off. What? Say what? All right, y'all. But I love y'all. Okay. I know this is cooking, though. I guess what? Well, I don't even know what I'm gonna tell you. Cooking chat with me. Building chat with me. Cook, build, cook. Cook, build, and chat with me. That's what we're going to call it. Cook, build, and chat with me. Okay, y'all. Now I see the letter F. All right. So, but everything is falling into place. But don't be afraid to check your connections. Don't be afraid to... Not even don't be afraid. Stop waiting on people. Okay? And make sure that whatever you put in is what you're getting out. Okay, because like I was like I was saying earlier, you can go to the bank and have five hundred dollars in that account. But if you try to redraw, if you try to withdraw a um, thousand, you're going to you're not going to have enough. You're not going to have sufficient funds to cover that transaction or to proceed with that transaction. All right. And that's in anything that you do. Make sure you get what you put out. Make sure you get what you put out. And it's okay for you to be cautious. Stop waiting on people, okay? And and build the momentum. Keep a momentum. Get a discipline. Get a routine so that you can definitely see more out um, in life. But I love y'all. Let me call my home girl so she can go ahead and see this. And I love y'all. Be blessed. Be encouraged. And listen, I, go subscribe. If you ain't, go subscribe. Okay, because we still need to get to a thousand subscribers before the end of the second quarter of the year. All right, so get your cousins, get your um, get your cousins' cousins. All right, get your big toe, get the snake in the backyard. All right, and the dead possum on the side of the road. And I need all of them to subscribe. All right, but I love you. Be blessed. Be encouraged. And remember that you, 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 yes, you have victory on every side. Yee.